Hey there YouTube, so I am finally back. Finally, finally, finally. Uh, I've had a little bit of problems with upgrading to Windows 10. Not exactly upgrading, but using my video editing software after upgrading. I was using Sony Vegas, but it just wasn't recognizing video files as an actual video when I brought them into the timeline. It also would say file corrupted or whatnot, but oh well. I've tried doing several fixes over the weekend, just couldn't find anything. I even contacted support and just... Ugh. So, I've upgraded to a slightly better program, I think. I've heard a lot of my friends use it and quite good uh, reviews from it. It is Adobe Premiere, so I will be using that for a while. If you guys have any tips, make sure you tell me, because I am a brand noob at it. Brand new noob at it. Oh, wow. But uh, I've been messing around in homebrew. My goal is right now is trying to create a vehicle that can turn quite well. You can see I have only have a basic frame here, but I just want a vehicle. Wow. Just cut. So I just want a vehicle that will uh, turn well under high speeds. Just one that will nicely just turn into a turn instead of just like flopping everywhere, flipping, sliding, dragging, crashing into the wall. Uh, you name it, it'll happen with my vehicles. So uh, let me just try and take this turn right here. Oh, see, and I bounced and I'm skidding. But uh, that was that was kind of a I, I actually like this vehicle. It's pretty good I didn't want to show its bad side um it doesn't actually do that don't don't look at that I uh this vehicle I think is a step in the right direction for some reason having four steering wheels four wheels that steer or can turn wow um comes out pretty well like it turns pretty good and it's decent and then just having two back wheels is normal even though having one back wheel now that's a trick um, it goes pretty good. I, I don't have a speedometer on it, but I'd like to say at least 300 kilometers an hour. At least. I mean, that's, that's very underselling it. But it drives pretty well, and I have these wings to kind of help it. See, it took this turn quite well. It was a little bit bumpy, but the terrain's kind of bumpy. Uh, I should try it out on that over island, that other island over there. But um, I've been trying to create this vehicle now. It's just bare bones. I have these wings that turn into it so I can like increase the downward pressure on one side to help it turn in. And I just have these flaps which are in my face right now. If you can look at that, they're right there in my face. Uh, to help for downforce so I don't get out of control. It's still a little bit bouncy, but I think it's working quite well. Sorry about that once again that I've been gone so long. I hope that you guys will understand and uh, my beach house is kind of flooded. But uh, I, I will definitely be making more videos. I'll try and do at least three a week, if not even more. I will definitely strive for more, but three a week is what I'm going to try and keep it at. My beach house is getting flooded again. Uh, but make sure you drop a like if you like that boat or if you like this house and comment if you're mad at me or just comment if you have any questions or anything that you want me to build. In homebrew, I'm sure up to the task. I have no idea what to build anymore, but I just pretty much wait and have a blank canvas, build something, delete it, because I have no idea where I'm going. So give me an idea, please. 